Hey Coyotes, it's a Thursday Tech Day and today I have a really short video for you about Blend Space. This is a great place to find a plethora of resources for teaching and doing digital lessons and it's an easy platform for you to create quickly create digital lessons for your students. It's also a place where students could post projects. And I'm going to show you that in here in just a minute. So let's see how to get signed up. You're going to go to sign up. I'm a teacher and you're going to fill out this information. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I signed up and here is where you have your general platform where you can see a, a bunch of the different lessons that are available and then you can also create your first lesson so I can name a class if I want to create a class and this is free we love free so you can create a class if you want to and then add students to it you can see here the featured lessons and then I could also do a search for lessons so let's do that first real quick let's go up to or the dashboard and that's the same thing, just kidding. Let's go to Lessons Library. So here is where I can find a ton of different lessons that are already pre-made. And there's lessons on every subject at every level. We love videos because we know that videos, when you have more input, you have more output. And this is part of listening. So videos could count as a listening activity for your students. And we have, there's tons of videos. There's a lot of different great resources on here, and I'm going to show you one that I just saw a minute ago. It was on the home page, and it's the To Kill a Mockingbird, and I think this was actually um, a lesson that was put up or posted by a teacher who is in training. Oops, To Kill a Mockingbird, and there's a lot of great resources on this lesson. So. You can see actually there's a ton of lessons, so I'm not sure which one it was, but let's go to this one. Okay, so yes, this is the one. So you've got a lot of different resources on here for students to look at, and then they can go through the lesson. So here I've got, this is the purpose. So here the teacher wrote just a little bit of a background and objectives, the history. They're, they have a visual here for students to see. And if you go through this part of the lesson, you're going to find you're going to see again just a little bit of information there on the side. And then there's uh, resources for you. You can print this off directly from here. You could probably even download it and save it if you wanted to or put it in your drive. So here and one thing I don't know um, here, you could download it. One thing I don't know if you know, also, you could print to PDF. So let's say that um, I didn't know how to download it or I didn't see it and I wanted to just have a PDF copy, I can save it as a PDF. When I click save, it'll give me the option to save it on my computer and put it a name, put in a name. So I'm just gonna save this to my, my desktop and there you go. Now I have a PDF copy of it. So just a little um, insert of a tech tool you can use in there. So here again, I go through the lesson. There's a lot of different resources on here for you. Here, um, students could do a journal. And there's just a lot of different activities for students to do, just even in this one little part. So, and then there's also videos and all of these resources, this teacher put up here in order for you to have, or and the teacher to have a digital lesson for the students. And this is a great activity too for enrichment. So you could go on here, you could find lessons that are already made put them in your classroom and then have them as enrichment activities for your students. We're really, and I know we're at the end of the school year and we've said this all year long, we're really wanting to limit cell phone use in the classroom when students have free time. There really shouldn't be any free time. So after a student finishes an activity, a lesson, a test, et cetera, et cetera, nobody should be pulling out their phone. Instead, they should be doing enrichment activities. So that could be one of these lessons online. You could have them doing quizzes or ed puzzle or any kind of other activity where they're still learning and they're applying their learn their um, doing application or they're practicing. There's a lot of activities for students to be doing instead of being on their phones. And then in addition to that, the other thing is reading a book. So again, we're really wanting to focus on literacy this year and Reading is one of the ways that we do that. So providing them an opportunity to read when they don't have anything else to do. And we really shouldn't be to the points where there's nothing to do. There's always something to do. Work on other homework, read, or do an activity like one of these lessons, like a blend space lesson. So here I can go ahead and create a classroom and I'm just going to say faculty 101 and you check, you 
choose the level, I'm gonna say other, create a class. And then here is my class and my class code. So if I want students to be able to join and see the lesson that I posted, this is the class code. So here I'm gonna go and click on a new lesson and a little short video for you to watch to be able to get started. And then what is my lesson about? And I'm gonna say literacy, because again, we've been focusing on literacy and they give you some suggestions just in case you don't know what to put. Okay, and then essentially all I do is I drop my resource here. So I can do text, I can do a quiz if I want to. Look, they already have a ton of resources available online and I can go in, um, some free, some are probably from like um, Teachers Pay Teachers and other resources, but this is awesome because it really helps you create a lesson quickly, a quality lesson. And the more the kids think, the more rigor that's involved, the more relevant that you make it, it really is a great place for you to be able to find resources. So I'm gonna go to my Wakelet and I'm gonna post this Wakelet um, collection for y'all to be able to see on literacy. So I have a ton of different resources here. Let's pick one and we're going to do fluency strategies for struggling readers. And I want my students to read this. So I copy paste. I go back to my blend space and let's see, I'm going to add a link. So here, enter the link to do. I paste, save it and go. So, I do this and I save it. Uh, click to open the resource and drag and drop and listen on the left. There we go. So there's my first activity for my students to do. And then if I wanted to add a quiz on it, et cetera, et cetera. So I put my material in over here, I drag and drop it in, and then we're ready to go. So I hope that this resource is really good for you. And again, remember, this could also be a platform for students to do a project on. So if they have various activities that they have to do for a project, let's say that they have to write a short essay, they have to have a presentation, they have to make a short video, they could do all of that here for you to be able to see and they could share it with you. So just another idea for use. Anyways, I hope that y'all have a great Thursday. I know the weather has been kind of gloomy. But with rain, April showers, come May flowers, so hopefully next month our gardens will be growing, our flowers will be growing, we'll see a lot of new life as we prepare for summer. So have a great day, and happy Thursday Tech Day. Go Yotes!